This hack tip is brought to you by Jack Threads. Hello and welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down the concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your getting over a cold host, Darren Kitchen, and today we're playing with LS of. And this hack tip is inspired by an email from Matt P. So thanks to Matt P. He wanted to share with us a nifty way to monitor sockets in Linux, and this uses LS of. You're probably familiar with LS or list directory contents. If I do like an LS tag LA here, I can see my files and my folder. There we go. And similarly, LS of shows the lists of open files or OF and the processes that open to them. That's the really cool part. And since most things in Linux are files, it's actually capable of looking at not just files on the disk, but also pipes, sockets, and devices. And this can be really useful for tracking down like what processes are using what resources. For example, if you're trying to unmount a disk that doesn't want to unmount, you can use ls of to figure out what process is using that. Uh, another example would be you know, uh, to find out what port a process is using. Now, since I actually have Dropbox installed on my machine here, uh, syncing files, I could actually issue ls of tac i, tac lowercase n, and tac capital P, and that can go ahead and grep for Dropbox. And there we go, I go ahead and I can see here, here's Dropbox and it's, you know, using the, the PID 1621, and I can see I have a bunch of TCP, and uh, a UDP socket open, and it's all on IP version 4. Pretty cool. Now, the TAC I is what tells it to look for IP sockets, and that lowercase n keeps it from trying to resolve DNS. That's why I just have numbers here. The capital P tells it we're interested in the port number. Now, Matt's tip is to use the option TAC capital P, lowercase nl, TAC lowercase i, 4 or i6 if you're looking for IP version 6 info. So let's see, L, uh, ls of tac capital P nl tac i4. And we can see that I have quite a few processes running here, namely Chrome, SSH, and Dropbox. Now, as I just mentioned, the capital P gives us the port number, while the lowercase n keeps ls of from converting the network numbers into host names, which speeds things up a lot. Likewise, the lowercase i keeps ls of from converting the user ID number into the actual login name, which again speeds things up. That's why I see over here user 1000, that's the first user on my system, and as I see logged in, it's just Darren. Uh, and finally, the TAC i4 option selects internet addressing, and that's for version 4, IP4. You can specify 6 for IP version 6, as well as other th cool things like protocols, like TCP or UDP. You can specify host names, addresses, servers, and ports. Uh, another option that you might find pretty useful is plus capital M, which enables the reporting of port mapper registrations for local TCP or UDP ports, and it just kind of puts them in square brackets after the numbers there. Uh, now, from here I can see both Chrome and Dropbox are chatting and the various ports and places that they're speaking with. I can see the user ID that started it as well as that process ID. So, for example, now if I wanted to go ahead and kill Dropbox, I could run kill 1621 and now Dropbox is gone. Wahoo! All right, now in just a sec, we're gonna find out how Tupac can monitor our network traffic, but first, let's take a quick break. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but hate wasting cash, heads up. You can score up to 80% off these premium brands every day at Jack Threads, the new invite-only shopping club just for guys. There's normally a wait list to join, but we've got the hookup. So head over to jackthreads.com hack5 and join now for free to get instant access to their hookups on street, skate, and surfwear brands. Now, as promised, the network monitoring command, a favorite of Matt's and now mine, is netstat tac tupac. Netstack prints network connections, routes, statistics, and all sorts of other fun stuff. Now, you can actually see here if I started like an SCP or a copy command or something like that, like we would see all the bytes received and sent. It's pretty cool. 
Um, anyway, the first person to leave a comment below with an explanation of all those options gets a cookie. And of course, this brings us to the end where I must ask, what scripts and commands are rocking your world? Go ahead and share them with us. Tips at hack5.org and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, every week for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your techno lust. Tack, whoops, not, not Satan.